Hi, my name is Joe Whites. I'm the clinical director here at Anatomical Concepts. And the purpose of today's video is to go over the proper application and donning and doffing of our KMO, or knee management, single posterior upright orthosis. And what it consists of, this is the actual KMO itself, and many of you may be familiar with it. We used to have two Velcro straps on the calf, two Velcro straps on the thigh. We've eliminated those, added a piece of uh, Velcro on the closure of the calf and the thigh. And we do have a separate strap that can be added if you so choose. And I'll go over that later in today's video. You want to release, release all the straps uh, for starting with the knee pad. Go ahead and release those and stick those back to each other so they don't get tangled up. And then go ahead and open the actual closures so you can get it out to its fullest uh, length. Go ahead and being a single posterior upright design, the patient typically is lying in bed. You can go ahead and raise that patient's leg up gently place it underneath the patient's extremity and try to center it so that the upright is midline posterior. Additionally, you want to line up the center of the patient's actual knee joint itself, or the bending point, with the center, which is this round area here, um, with the center of this, just line that up appropriately and make sure that's in the proper position. Once you get that position, uh, you can go ahead and fasten up the calf section first and you can see where the, we actually have areas of stitching so you can trim this off necessary for the patient's uh, varying size of their calf if it's appropriate. Go ahead and wrap that round and you can stick that down with the Velcro closure, proceed up to the thigh and go ahead and fasten that. You want to make sure that lining's smooth underneath, there's no wrinkles. And then lastly, you can go ahead and fasten up the knee pad. Typically, you'll start with the bottom strap first through that buckle there on the knee pad. Fasten that up to the Velcro. Additionally, you can change the length of the strap. We've actually already cut these down, but if you need to vary the length, you can slide it through a slot posteriorly and move the, the uh, strap length and reposition it. If you want this tab up further, you can do so. And then go ahead and fasten the upper strap on the kneecap up and then you have the positioning of the device. Additionally, we have two other straps that can be used with or without. In most cases, because of the design of the KMO being a posterior structure opposed by an anterior forced over the patella or the knee area here, that's usually enough uh, force basically to hold the patient's extremity in an extended position or in an immobilized position. If you feel like you need more control and you want to keep the leg from bending on the patient, you can take one of these straps or two different lengths and you can place uh, the longer one on the thigh. Go ahead and place it on the area closest to the knee. That'll give you more control to keep the leg from bending. Um, you can do the same on the calf section and it just simply just wraps around the extremity. Again, you have the, the, the ability to cut off uh, or adjust the length of the strap by pulling this tab off cutting the strap down to the appropriate length, putting this back on, and closing that back over. Um, again, you would just wrap this around the patient's leg like this, and go ahead and fasten it through the buckle. Let me move this over so you can see that a little bit better. And then fasten that back onto itself. And that same thing on the thigh section up here. And that's gonna give you more control um, by keeping the leg in more extension keeping the patient from bending the leg. If you want to keep the patient from flexing the leg more, you can actually put it down more on the distal section. Just release this strap, loosen this up, place it down on the lower leg, and that will give you a little bit more stiffness or rigidity at the lower end of the extremity. That's a general overview of the proper positioning of the uh, KMO orthosis. We have a separate video that actually shows how you can change the static angle or the bending point uh, at the knee back here, and you can find that on our website. Thank you.